Happy Labor Day. I hope that you are enjoying this holiday. That uh, hopefully get some time off to spend uh, with your family. Get some time off. Maybe even if you're getting some jobs done around the house or whatever you need to do. Uh, but I hope that you are enjoying the day. We'd like to speak a little bit about labor. I'm Pastor Krause coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Good to have you with us. We're going to be reading two different sections from the book of Genesis, the book of beginnings, uh, the first book of Holy Scripture. First, we read Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. We're talking about labor. We read, The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. You know, a reminder that work was designed and made by God, assigned to man in the Garden of Eden before the time of the fall, before the time of sin. Work was good. God made this beautiful place, the Garden of Eden, and he tells man to take care of it. There are things to do there in the garden. Uh, this work was not a burden. This work was a wonderful way to show thanks to God who had placed him into that Garden of Eden. But of course, that situation changed. Then there was the time of the fall, Genesis chapter 3. And in conjunction with that, God speaks to Satan, God speaks to the woman, and God speaks to man about the new situation that he would find himself in because of the fall into sin. We're going to read another section now, Genesis chapter 3, verses 17 to 19, where God speaks to Adam about the ramifications of the fall into sin as it pertains especially today to work. To Adam, he said, Because you listened to your wife and ate fruit from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil you will eat food from it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you. And you will eat the plants of the field by the sweat of your brow. You will eat your food until you return to the ground from it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. After the fall, there were changes. Before the fall, work was pleasant. Work was a way to give thanks to God. Work was so meaningful. Uh, but, of course, after the fall, work would become different. If you're farming, there would be thorns and thistles. And uh, in a general way, work is something that pervades our life. Even in moments of relaxation, even when we sit down at the table, we may always be thinking about all the things we have to get done and all the things that are on our plates. Even today, it's a holiday. We think tomorrow, maybe I got to go back to work and I... I'm not in the best terms with my boss. I'm not in the best terms with the people around me in the workplace. Uh, things are not going well. Those are the ramifications of sin. And eventually, to the man, you know, a reminder, this is your reward. You're going to work hard. You're going to work hard throughout your life. You're going to work hard to make a living for yourself and for your family, to feed those mouths and so forth. And then you're going to die. You're going to go back to the ground. We usually hear these words at the time of a funeral. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. What will happen with everything that you have acquired in your life? What will happen with all the things you have saved for? Well, those things will go to someone else. And so many times people tell me, then the fights start in a family when somebody dies. Who's going to get what in the inheritance? And when are you going to get it? Who's in charge? And are they going to be honest? And are they going to take care of things in a proper way? And all these different things come up. Uh, unfortunately, that's, that's the curse of sin. But of course, we believe and we know that when we die, we go to heaven. And the question, what are you going to do in heaven? 
Now, some people give to us the idea that we're going to be floating around in a cloud and have a harp in our hands and be making uh, music there endlessly to the Lord. And they give a picture like that. But I, I think, you know, we'll be working. We'll be finding satisfaction in our work. We'll be doing things for our Lord. We will be using perhaps the gifts and talents that the Lord has given to us and we'll be doing it in a very meaningful way. Work was there before the time of fall and it was a pleasant activity. It was something that was used to give glory to God. It was something in which Adam found satisfaction in his life. And we pray that in heaven, yeah, that's going to be restored. We're going to find meaning as we serve our Lord in the perfection of paradise.